Hello, this is Heisenberg with Diamond Select Toys, Captain Marvel Statue. This is out now. You can find it at comic book stores. You can also find it online at stores like Amazon. It retails for $45, but for example, you can find it for significantly less on Amazon. So you might want to look for it there. So yeah, Captain Marvel is a uh, Marvel Comics uh, character that's actually been around for quite a while with different uh, costumes and different names. So yeah, here's a comic book drawing uh, of the character. So yeah, it's nice to see nice to see this uh, statue of her. So as we'll see, it's part of uh, a Diamond Slick Toys Marvel ga gallery of uh, Marvel comic book characters, uh, particularly uh, female characters. Uh, but they've also announced they're going to have some male characters too. So yeah, it's very nicely done. So again, this is a statue stands about uh, all from uh, including the base stands about 10 inches tall uh, without the without the uh, little stand on the bottom the character stands about uh, nine inches tall and yeah oh yeah very well done so as I said we, I saw this at uh, Toy Fair along with some other uh, uh, characters uh, from in, in the collection so yeah they got a Deadpool female Thor and Medusa and some of these are out already hope to review some of those uh, later so yeah, let's have a let's have a look at her. Look at the uh, yeah, I really like the stomach. Sort of like the painted, you know, sort of like you can see the muscles, see the muscles very well. Also like the shine on it. How it has sort of like a nice uh, kind of shiny look that, with the, uh, yeah, sort of like the reflection you get from the light, uh, on the figure, and quite a bit quite a bit of cur curves they've given her here. Yeah, she's she's certainly a defying gravity in several ways, and then sort of a st simple little stand there that she's on but uh oh yeah 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 quite the bubble quite the bubble butt they've given her and uh and uh, yeah nice primary color nice primary color uh, uniform very traditional with comic books yeah yeah and yeah look at the light i like how the light reflects uh, off of her so it really it really sort of uh you know shows off shows off the curves yeah, so notice the hair uh, they've given her. So they're also coming out with a, uh, uh, a variant version of this. For San Diego Comic-Con 2016, there's an exclusive version with a different hairstyle. So this is a picture of the exclusive version. So as I'm making this, San Diego Comic-Con hasn't happened yet. So we just have a few pictures so far. So yeah, the San Diego Comic-Con uh, version it, uh, appears to be uh, completely identical except for the hair. It's sort of more of a mohawk hairstyle, not a true mohawk, but you know, more yeah, you know, more like a mohawk hairstyle. So it's a little disappointing that that appears to be the only difference between the standard version and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version. So last year for uh, last year for San Diego Comic Con 2015, Diamond Select Toys had a, a variant version of their Supergirl statue, which was different in a number of ways, number of sort of subtle ways. There was a you know quite a number of subtle differences. You know, from head to toe with uh, that variant from the standard version. So I've got a, a video where I show that. You might want to check that out. So yeah, I was hoping for more uh, more differences, but uh, there you go. So yeah, here's more of the curves uh, that we've got there, and then she's got the you know sort of like the star sort of resting. You know, the, the uh, star star on her is kind of resting above the uh, uh, rest of the costume. Yeah, yeah, quite, again, yeah, very, again, as I said, very much defying gravity. Uh, and as we'll see later, so again, the, this whole collection of Marvel, Marvel Gallery uh, statues is uh, new this year. Uh, in the previous year, let's first, let's see more of the, more of the curves. Yeah, nice, yeah, the gloves are nicely done too. And that uh, little sash, you know, the sash around your, uh, Hips is nicely done. Yeah, last year they came out with a, 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 a series of uh, uh, DC animated characters. They're they're called that. They're part of their Femme Fatale series. And so what's nice is that, and I'll show I'll show I'll call, compare uh, Captain Marvel here to one of those uh, 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 shortly. But it's uh, yeah, it's nice that this does have uh, a, an interesting different uh, you know look. You know, look and feel to it. Yeah, actually, this kind of reminds me a lot of, even though the character isn't that, or this version of the character is not that old, uh, the statue kind of reminds me of sort of a John Byrne 
uh, you know, Marvel character from, you know, the early 1980s. Uh, just sort of the style of the costume and also the style of the hair. And uh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a very nice uh, style style to uh, you know, to be using. Then here's the boots. Yeah, boots surprisingly, uh, you know, utilitarian. Not, uh, yeah, yeah, it's I find it interesting that it's not, character doesn't have like the normal sort of super heroine, uh, you know, high heel, high heeled shoes, high heeled boots that are not very practical. All right, so let's compare her, like I said, to sort of uh, Diamond Select Toys, a Wonder Woman Femme Fatale statue. So sort of like similar sort of, so both made of PVC and similar in height, but notice the style is, uh, you know, the, the specific style is noticeably different. So it's kind of nice. And again, I like them both. I like both. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I like uh, both styles quite a bit. Glad to have them both. I don't think I would display them side by side like this uh, because of the differences. But I'm glad, you know, I'm very happy about the uh, DC animated uh, statues that they have. Very glad that they're moving on to Marvel. All right, so let's look at the box. Uh, she comes in. There's, yeah, yeah. There's the box to look for in the store. So, yeah, very safely. She's very, you know, very safe inside there. And then I'll have some photo photos with close-ups of the, some of this text here, too. That's the top of the box. Flip it over, look at the bottom of the box. And then here's some photos. So again, this is it's very exciting that uh, Diamond Select Toys is uh, starting this Marvel Gallery uh, uh, series of statues, and I uh, hope to show, hope to keep showing more of them. Alrighty, so this is Heisenberg, hoping you enjoy your Diamond Select Toys Captain Marvel statue.